Hi, the ho everyone. My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to the GG Over Easy podcast, the only seven star rated podcast in the known universe. In today's episode, we start off with a couple tangents, to be fair. I don't really know where we went with those. Um, Places. I forget. But I, I do know we spend some time on the Game Awards. Some nominees were announced. We discuss some of the categories, some of who think we will, we will, who will win, what we think. We also talk about why these words are up here. Yep. Some of our Patreon stands. We appreciate you. We moved on to some Pokemon. Uh, I think there was something in between there. And then we answered a couple questions. And then we couple, yes, a couple Patreon, Patreon answers. And also, because I forgot to mention it until the very end of the podcast. We'll mention it now. For those watching, next week is also going to be the Alien podcast. Oh. We briefly mentioned this an episode or two ago. But we are going to discuss all there is supernatural, as well as more specifically um, Bob Lazar and his experiences. And if you don't know what we're talking about, listen to the podcast. We'll be doing this. It's your homework. Listen to the podcast Bob Lazar with Joe Rogan. And then come back and tune in next week to learn all about that. But come back to our Go yes, to that podcast, but, but then come back well, to come this back, podcast. Come back. Yeah. We need you. Yep, yeah, please. With that said, let's get into it. Ow. What? what was, I didn't know we had a guitar lick in there. I've, I've listened to 15 episodes. <laughs> Never have I heard a bow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I expect a bow <laughs> yeah. with a whammy bar now. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the okay. GG Over Easy podcast, episode 16. The Sweet best. 16. Yes, sir. I had we, um, I never got anything special. I remember watching those. MTV shows and be like my sweet 16 and they just like here's a new mansion thanks daddy I wanted the red Mercedes <laughs> dad what the fuck I, I hated that but then I was like damn but the red one was sweet <laughs> but she deserved they are right that. though the red one definitely Ashley does. deserved that red Mercedes <laughs> Ashley and all of her friends are like, oh, I'm sorry Ashley and I want to be carried out and have Egyptian men holding me as I'm the pharaoh <laughs> goddess and they're like okay like what else would you like Absolutely. <laughs> well, anything. of course my princess anything um, Ashley yeah just but, not the red Mercedes <laughs> just and it better be red like I'm, okay like, pulls up with the blue Mercedes like she's going to kill me guys <laughs> She, sir, she's 16 years old. She will kill me. Sir, you're a lawyer. Like, <laughs> you're a doctor. She will make my life hell. Anyway, welcome to the only seven-star rated podcast. I don't really know if that's a factual thing, but I mean, if you're but saying it... Is there you, is there anything about this podcast factual? Uh, yeah, I think Rarely. my yeah my son discussion, I think, was very <laughs> factual and... Uh, that was something that was a 100% fact. Someone did say that they liked what we do is we pull back from previous episodes, like little, like they're inside jokes in the podcast. Oh, like King so like, Calorie and like that. Kind yeah. Of and like the 9-11 veteran. Like right. unless you watch the podcast, you're like, what? Like 9-11. He's a 9-11 vet. I can even. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Let's really quickly talk about that. Because we talked about anime in the last episode. Uh -huh. And since then, Rob's like, I'm only a two anime guy. How many episodes you're in to Attack on Titan? Uh, 50. I have like maybe 10 or 13 episodes left in season three. I've been kind of slacking. I've been <laughs> just streaming too much. So since literally a week ago when he's like, I'm only a two anime guy. Yeah. He's now a three anime guy. Yeah, I've been grinding. And he's almost done with Attack on Titan. Yeah, but sometimes when I'm like done streaming, I'm like, I don't want to read tonight. Like, I don't, like, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Like, cause like I have to read and that's, a, that's a lot for me. I know. So that's like, dumb. if I'm like eight episodes in, I might as well just read a, a whole chapter book. I've read like two chapters. <laughs> a big a book. Yeah. I don't, hey, I don't it like helps books. your dyslexia. Yeah. But I like to listen to books. Like audio books, actually. I like to listen to podcasts. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Do you have a review for us that oh, we actually miss because we're <laughs> about to miss that? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of podcasts, I do have a review here. From Link6469 with a five-star rating, he says, it's the little things. Oh. You need to listen to this podcast, mainly because when they approach a spoiler topic, they give you a timestamp to fast forward to. How considerate is that? Also, this podcast is funny and great and blah, blah, blah. We didn't, we didn't do that, though, for the anime discussion, though. <laughs> well, I mean, the anime, I guess it doesn't really, but like, 
what what was it? Was Pokemon in the last episode? I think it was, right? No. Or two episodes ago? Two, like two or three. I don't know. We talked about Pokemon, you stand. Well, what I did, well, you on on the video aspect, we put like skip to this, but mm-hmm. then I added into the audio portion. I oh. cut and I was like, hey, in case you guys don't want to, do, I was like, skip to minute 57. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very considerate of yeah. you. I did not know that. So I like to think yeah. that that's what he's acknowledging. Well, and I did try and just put like the normal kind of like, hey, skip forward, then like basic text. But Christian, like in post edit, was like, <laughs> where's the drop shadow? <laughs> drop shadow. Where's like, this looks better. Okay. <laughs> Flat white text. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. That's what I was doing. <laughs> like, like, we're talking like, He's got Times New Roman, flat white, oh, no. title else. card. Not like, even yeah. Helvetica, bro. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying, dude. So I'm like, get, move aside here. Yeah, took him like 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's really not that. I can't be bothered to do Drop Shadow, man. Yeah, I didn't put Drop Shadows on the uh, Patreon names either. Like I just Which we should address this. Yes. For those watching, because they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so for those audio listeners, um, you don't know what we're talking about, so we'll explain it. But last week... We announced the GG Over Easy Patreon. Uh, thank you to all of you who have supported us so far. Okay. Feel free to go over there and check that out. If you do want to support us, if you like this podcast, it is patreon.com slash GG Easy Podcast, right? We may be getting GG Easy Yeah, here we soon. might just get I, just the GG Easy. I saw GG Easy, uh, the account, uh, actually just got uh, like banned. So uh-huh. uh, take that. <laughs> we make moves. <laughs> that's, that's mine now. Yes. <laughs> this is mine. Ours now. Um, so head over there if you want to support us. We really appreciate it. It's just extra, and there are some tiers. And it just so happens that our highest tier, the, the GG Easy Legends, the GG Easy Legends. We um we we capped it at four because as you can see here. <laughs> We're running out of real estate. <laughs> Poor Blue barely has any more room. Well, okay, dude. Well, here's the story. I like it's walk so in. Warm. <laughs> I walk into Office Depot and the lady's like, "I can help you." And I was like, "Um, I have a request for you." And she's like, "Okay." I was like, "I need like four names written on a piece of paper on pretty big text." And she goes, "For what?" And I was like, "Uh, I'm." <laughs> Like, okay, bro, tell the so truth. So we talk with our friends and people listen. And so they pay to listen to us talk about nothing. And so they, they gave us this money and they want these names on a Michael Sarah cutout. Now, the reason basically, is Michael- basically, <laughs> basically, people watch us on live stream and we want to put their names on my friend's body on camera. <laughs> That's like, exa- I'm not kidding you. That's like exactly what I said. <laughs> she goes, and Oh, we get that all like the time. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I've, She's like, I've heard weirder. And I was like, oh, okay. Amanda, you're very nice. Thank you for the help. So what if I, what if I wanted to tape this on my friend's body and we streamed it? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? So you, do you have a font for that? We'd like to thank uh, the Stag Omega Sub, Big Sexy Arts The. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Yeah, with the way it looks. Okay, let's just clarify here. We have the Stag. Yes. Big Sexy, Omega Arts, and Safe. So thank you very much. We, we asked them what names they wanted. Yeah. So somebody wanted to be big, big sex. Yeah, we're not yeah. just putting like words up there. It's not like you know what uh, you know what this looks like. You know when uh you like people on their like refrigerators just, have magnets of just random words. Oh, I was gonna say you just take the you know, when you start a Scrabble game. Yeah, you just put your hand in. You take your your, your words. You're yeah. like, what can I make from this? Oh, mega arts. That'd be a big. That's a big word. That's, big, that's, a, lot that's a lot of points. A lot of points. I don't I even think Scrabble. you can hold that many. I'm dude. I may suck at spelling, but I'm really good at Scrabble. It's weird. How does that work? Um, I don't know. Um, but like, the, are not, you the guy that's like? All right, and here is a chrysanthemum or whatever. You're like, that's not how you spell it. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm like, all right. No, but like, it, like if you challenge me, more often than not, you're gonna be wrong. I'm really good at it. <laughs> like, uh, like words with friends. I don't cheat at that. If you cheat at words with friends, you're the kind of worst kind of. Person. Oh my god, words with friends back in the day, dude, oh, that was a competition. Right. I would, everyone in my everyone in my class would nonstop be playing words with friends. Yeah, it, then, it's a learning that was game. A phenomenon really. back mm-hmm. then, dude. Well, yeah, it's just like Scrabble. Like it's. Just... And, then, and then I realized I suck at it. I'm like, damn, why could I... I'm fucking stupid? <laughs> well, All these I... people in high school were like, fucking. They were like, oh yeah, let's let's play Word of Friends. I'm so smart. And then I realized that that was the point of my life where I realized. I'm fucking stupid. Well, it wasn't, <laughs> Wait a minute. It wasn't so much I'm me dumb. finding out I'm stupid. It's just all my friends were cheaters. Yeah. Like my friends would play like Croxel the Fivic. I'm like, what the f- <laughs> what kind of word is that? Cro- He's like, it's a thing you find in the liver. I'm like, what? Shut it's up, like, Mickey. Uh, you don't know that. Like, like well, actually, probably, yeah. um, I do know this. Yeah. No. No, I I always strayed away from those games because earlier on my mom would well, she loved Scrabble. Oh, really? I didn't know that. You don't mess with my mom and Scrabble, bro. Cause she's that like She's the person back in the day too, like pull, like 
All right, here is blah, blah. I'm like, what? And she pulls out a dictionary because at this point, like, we didn't even have it. She's like, look, right there. And I'm like, oh my god. I was like, how do you even know this? She just has it on hand. Yeah, she cheats without having to cheat. Yeah. She just knows. Like, she how does that cheat even... engine in her head? It's a vast it's... vocabulary. Yeah, seriously. Like everyone has a quirk. That's her. <laughs> Kuso. Kuso. Scrabble. <laughs> yeah, she just knows how to scrabble. So anyway, thank you to the GGE legend yes. l- l- legends for it. sponsoring us. Again, thank you. The Stag Omega Sub, Big Sexy Arts, the. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and while we're at it, we'll, we'll touch on it because we need to figure out where we're going to do it in the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we initially said like an ad break, but. Might as well just. Yeah, it's confusing. So yeah. at least for now, we'll start this episode off with our producers. So it's below the legend tier. Mm-hmm. But everybody, $50 and up on the Patreon who has supported us. We appreciate you. Yeah. And we're also not people. gonna break this down every episode. It's just gonna kind of become oh, like a Yeah, thing. well, we won't have to explain yeah. <laughs> why we have the stag omega say big sexy arts <laughs> thigh every time. <laughs> but um I hope they stay forever, dude. That's perfect. I a love big that. thank you to Blake Russell, Deb Hollow, GP Hash, Maria Brenius, N7 Falco, Thorne Lisinski, Derek Stevens, Grizzly Stag. Omega Arts and Safe 2252. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Sasagio. Sasagio. We stand you. You're our stand, <laughs> and we stand for you. We stand you forever and always. Oh, speaking of stands. Oh, God. Went to the movie theater last night. Okay. <laughs> speaking <laughs> of stands. <laughs> and um, so we went to go see Frozen 2. Very exciting. Have you seen Frozen 2? That came 1? out? Yeah, wow. it came out. I'm behi- I thought it was I'm Christmas. Yeah, but it's yeah, a me too. Thanksgiving. Is it Christmas themed or is no. it like Thanksgiving themed? In it? It's just not. Nah, it's just. Oh, I okay. mean, Frozen is kind of inherently Christmas themed, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? There is a certain Christmas to it. So that's why I, I, I was confused. But she was having a bad day. So I was like, all right, we'll go see yeah. Frozen because she loves animated movies. Yeah. We go there. I get a showing for 3D, 730. I get some recordings out of the way. Bop, bop. We're good to go. Yeah. So we head there. We go in and the guy's like, Yo, are you that fruit dude? I'm no. Like, he was a worker <laughs> yeah. there. And I was like, oh yeah. He's like, oh my gosh, like I love your Overwatch stuff and everything. I'm like, thank you, dude. Oh. And so <laughs> I, mean, I used yeah. to watch your stuff all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but see, he didn't say I used to. Yeah. And and the reason I think he actually does watch more than just that, I'll get to it in a second. Mm-hmm. Um, but so I go up, scan the the tickets, and I think the poor guy realizes what I did. So I like scan the ticket and he goes, okay, um, so 7.30 showing, like theater 12 or whatever to your left. Um, I go on for it. And I was like, don't I need like 3D glasses? And he's like, no. And I, I like pull it up. I'm like, it says 3D right here. Oh, and, no. and he's like, yeah, that that's for the 6.30 showing. Ooh. I bought tickets to the 3D 6.30. Oh, dude. And we're there at 7.30. Oh. And I, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! So I think the poor guy probably scanned in, and it's like these idiots, <laughs> like just just go to that. <laughs> he and he's like, he yeah. And know. so I'm like, I think I need 3D glasses. He's like, dude, just, <laughs> he's like, this, just stop while you're ahead. I'm like, right here, bro. And so he's like, this is awkward. He's like, what a boomer. Yeah. And so he's like, can we just like get these. Can they just go to 7:30? And so he like. He, he went and like got us tickets. Is it like he like reserve sh- seating and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So and he showed us like what? the seats. Uh huh. He showed us like the seats. He's like, you can pick some. And like, if anyone asks, he like wrote down on tickets our seats. So it's like, if if anyone asks, like, here you go. He was a cool dude. Yeah. Uh, so I appreciate you. And but then the reason I know he probably still watches some uh-huh. is he goes, hey, uh, by the way, can I ask what happened to Dork? And oh, he's, he's like, a real he's, stand. Yeah, he's like, he's my favorite. And oh, yeah, was, you're that Dork. Yeah, and I was pretty dork. much just like. He doesn't like attention. Fans. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like attention. I was, yeah, he's pretty sure. Like, he's, he's in the last TTT though, which was very, very sick. He's, Everybody was in that, dude. No, yeah, it was it was the that was a uh, uh, produced by Sakurai. Uh, <laughs> everybody Sakurai came himself, together. Here. Sakurai, uh, Iwo Kojima, I know was involved in that within <laughs> yeah. that playthrough as well. We got Norman Reedus. What yeah, everybody. That, I don't think we've ever had ev- literally everyone in a TTT like that for yeah. like literally dude, years. I got I got to be honest dude I kind of forgot like how much I get a headache after we do those things for like 3 hours dude cuz there's just so It's pretty overwhelming. It's just so <laughs> much going on. Uh, and then like there's there's a conversation over there. And then there's one over there and then I'm like trying to hear that one. And then like I'm trying to also like not just buy a silenced op <laughs> and just kill everybody. Like I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, TTT is a lot harder than people think. It is. Like it's draining. 
Yeah. Well, and also like, but also trying to, you know, have fun making entertaining video, but also like if you're the trader, yeah, actually win. Yeah. There's a lot going into that. But then you're also trying to respect other people having fun. For sure. Yeah. You're you also, don't want yeah. to overstep on that. It's a lot of like poor data. A lot of uh, tact. You requ- that 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 requires a lot of tact when yeah. you record TDT. So much. Well, and holding, then like on like, the on the content side too, like if Christian and Datto don't get trader oh, ever, yeah. which sometimes happens, because like, people will be like, like where are the trade around? I'm like. <laughs> I, 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 I can't, like, people think like we can like manipulate it. We purposely don't manipulate it so that like we, we know, have no idea. Yeah, so it's it's literally random. But that's why, yeah, like me or data. Some sessions, it's like we get one trade around out of like thirty. Yeah. And it's like, oh god. Well, I was watching like other TTTs, and um, they're not as good. We should like add uh, like like <laughs> a, like a new server or something like that. Like I'm new maps. To, yeah. yeah oh. Well, people have been asking. We need to look into it too. There's um, I guess like more like more roles you can do oh really which make it a little more interesting yeah especially if you have a few more people mm-hmm. but i think it's kind of like the the wolverine game oh so like there's like a healer or yeah like there'll a... be like a like an angel or whatever probably can like res one person uh-huh. or like so and so where everybody has like a, a specific vampire, role like a so there's less just i'm an innocent and can't do anything special mm-hmm. so we can look into that <laughs> whenever i see the green pop up i'm just like yeah everybody's just like <sighs> and then every time i'm the trader I type in T and I pog. <laughs> pog. <laughs> One time I I don't forget which episode that is is when I typed it into the yeah. main chat. And poggers. Was, yeah. Was that when I was typing poggers? Uh-huh. Uh, yikes. That was a that's on the thumbnail, so it's not too hard. To, <laughs> oh, it to is. Find. Yeah, no, it's I'll like it um the blue. What is the guy that uses the rocket in TF2 called? Oh, soldier. Soldier. So oh. it's soldier in the in the thumbnail. And then next to it, he's like, Whoo! and it says like trader poggers. <laughs> oh, God. oh, then the head nod are the most unfortunate. Oh, the, the head nod yeah. is the best. Just straight unfortunate. Uh, I'll never um, the it. straight unlucky. They're just rounds. at the park and I just see. And it's Dado and Christian. And I was like, <laughs> they're not they're not wait, not wait, wait a second. That is weird. <laughs> That's not incriminating. They did it. Yeah. They're and it was. Nodded. It was. Kill them. So. And I guess I should address too. I've never really addressed. People are like, "Why is there TF2 and like every thumbnail?" Before I was able to get oh, someone like to help Fortress? me draw, yeah, is because there is like no assets for Gmod. It's like if you Google search, because I I don't have like Source Filmmaker or anything. I can't go in. So I don't have the time or the skills to go in and do that for every thumbnail. There, what's Source Filmmaker? Uh, so it's like Valve's theater mode, kind oh, of. Really? Well, more than theater mode. Like that's how people make skits. Like it's like a full 3D animation suite kind of. Oh. And you use pretty much all like Team Fat, uh, Team it's su- it's super Fortress. It's super impressive too. Yeah. Oh really? You use it's, Team it's Fortress. Old, it's old too. Yeah, it's really old. Um, but you use a lot of the assets, or at least that come with it, base default, or like Team Fortress stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's why a lot of stuff comes with that. Wow. But anyway, so instead, I I can find these Team Fortress Two source filmmaker stuff, and there's like. A huge breadth of them so like if i need it for a thumbnail i can find what normally like if you see a thumbnail it's usually like eight images spliced together but i can find team fortress stuff really easily and just kind of th- throw General those together the characters yeah yeah and kind of make like a, a not a, a, a collage not, what's a frankenstein yeah it's like oh. a frankenstein like thumbnail where it's like you can't tell Eight different layers. But yeah, it's like it's like four different photos <laughs> mashed together. And so that's why. Until I was able to get someone to help me with thumbnails. I like the TTT I like to think thumbnails. I helped start a trend. I could not stop putting Team Fortress stuff in my thumbnails for that's a right. very long time. It's just it's just easiest. Because I think one day I did. I just searched like Trouble in Terrace Town, something, and I found like this TF2 screenshot. And I was like, wow, that works really well. <laughs> and so then it was just a rabbit hole. And then from now on I just That's it. Yeah, you know, I try. But anyway. With that said, maybe, uh, well, I was going to say we oh. should get on topic, but actually okay. a lot of people were like, Let's boo, topic. yeah, the boo, <laughs> boo, topics, topic. boo, yeah, boo. we started out by like, we're on topic and everybody's like, ah, God. Yeah. God. Everyone, everyone just like turns it off. Like, nah. in fact, we canceled the podcast for like a year cause we couldn't stay on topic. And then we <laughs> yeah. come back and people were like, boo, topic. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Stupid questions. It's, hey, we love those stupid questions. Well, let's go into our first segment here. Oh. Uh, this is a, a timely matter. The nominees 
for the Game Awards. Oh, fun. just announced. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep track of all of our votes, and we're gonna see who was the most yeah. right on all of them. So oh, yeah, 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 it'll be fun. On December twelfth, the Game Awards will happen, so we'll know who wins. But we're gonna go through most of these categories, or if we go through cat- some of these categories, we're like, we haven't played any of these. We'll just skip it. But at least uh, no, name we're all still them. picking. Oh, okay, we're still picking. We're still picking, even though we have no idea. That's like when I'm watching the Grammys, and it's like. Best foreign film. And I'm like, oh, that one from Denmark looks great. Yeah, that that wins. Fantastic. <laughs> so we'll start. Well, I, get, I mean, from the website, we're starting with the, the big Jehuba. Okay. Game of the year. Okay. Normally we end with that one. Yeah. Well, it uh, started here. So, oh, my okay. fault. Okay. so game of the year. Recognizing okay. a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. Okay. And then we need some lady like and game the nom- of the year and the nominee. And the nominees are... Yeah, here, Blue, you do it. <laughs> do, oh. you have the, do you have them pulled up? Game of the Year. Control by Remedy 505 Games. Death Stranding, Kojima Productions. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Bandai Namco, Sora, Did Nintendo. Did that come out last year? No, Resident it Evil came out right two, after the cutoff. Oh. Capcom. Wait, that's a remake. Sekiro, <laughs> Shadows Die Twice. From Software, Activision. Oh, the crowd liked that one. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> the Outer Worlds, Obsidian, Private Division. And, and that's it? the winner is... That's that a is lot. It. That's what, six or seven? That's that's six games. Wait, so two, three, four, six. That's six games. Yeah. Okay, I wait. feel like normal is only Star four. Wars Interesting isn't on pick, that? It, it, Star so, Wars just came out. Is Star yeah. Wars going to have to be on the next year's? Star Wars is like... Yes. Oh. Star Wars is like Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers just missed the cutoff, which is why it's technically 2019. Oh. Yeah, just missed that they season. Can't, well, the reason they have to do this is because they used to get a lot of heat for good reason. Literally, yeah. like with Mo- like, and it was mostly with Call of Duty games. They would like nominate stuff like Game of the Year. Call of Duty came out like a week ago, dude. How can you review a game in a week? And also, Especially Call of Duty's not game, fucking so. Game of the Year. Like hey. any Call of Duty ever. I love my camping games. You watch your mouth. <laughs> but that's not Game of the Year. You know what <laughs> I, I mean? Know. Like, I mean, maybe some of them have been. I don't know, but I feel like at this point, it's just a. All right, out of that list. Yeah, you go first, Rob. Uh, read, read them real quick again. We have Control, Death Stranding. Didn't play it. Didn't play it. Resident Evil 2. D- didn't play it. Sekiro. <laughs> didn't play it. Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate. I don't think Rob's played any of these except the for Outer Worlds. Super Smash Bros. Didn't play it. Um, okay. <laughs> didn't play so, it. Wow. I'm going to go with what I think people are going to pick. Wait, wait, wait. Are we choosing what we think people will or what we would pick? Okay, well, I would pick is probably Smash Bros because that's probably the only one. But the one that's I, the only one you played. Really. The, yeah, so <laughs> he doesn't really I, have a choice. So he yeah. could he yeah. can mix it up because he. Hasn't uh, played. So I guess I'm gonna go with Death Stranding. I think people for some wow. Point, okay, really? I don't know what it is about that game. Every time I looked at somebody streaming, like Christian said, it was somebody with a Eiffel Tower <laughs> of boxes on the back of them and just. A baby I mean, that's crying. The, that's the whole game. Yeah, and then like sometimes you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta shoot these guys. Pew 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 pew. All I've right, never seen combat. Oh, you've never saw combat. <laughs> no. I saw Clint Stevens in combat one time, and oh. it was kind of like cool. It's very, it's very few and far between for sure. Just because the game literally is a, a U, UPS man simulator. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm with picking, the occasional air of danger. I'm picking Death Stranding, but, right. but just because I think that's gonna win. But I mean, out of that list, I guess I'd pick Smash. But I, I didn't, I didn't play any of those. I think Smash is good, but... It's not going to win. I, I don't know if it's game of the year. No. Well, well, it is a good game, though. Okay, Christian, you're next. Oh. <sighs> All right. Well, this is... Literally, I didn't even need to see the list. This is what I was going to nominate anyway for my game of the year. Mm-hmm. Sekiro. Sekiro. Yeah. yeah. I think Sekiro is is dope. Like, is that just a love hate relationship with you? Because you're like, a, oh, I love Sekiro, <laughs> but also B, it also killed my channel. Yeah. But I mean, oh, I hate it. But Dang. that should say something, yeah, that I'm nominating, <laughs> even though it almost killed my channel. It's such a good game, and it's not even just like, oh, that was fun, or like, oh, that was difficult. I'm glad I beat it. But the way they change some of the mechanics you're familiar with, but it's a little bit different. Yeah, and it also fits so well thematically. Like the sword fighting with the pairing and everything fits the world really well. You're not punished for exploring. There's stuff to explore. Like you can go off beaten paths, find these people. There's different bosses. All the fights are really fun, grandiose. I like the story actually. Like 
literally overall i was just like this go from software is awesome like, yeah that's what like well when you beat a boss in like a game like sekiro or oh. dark souls it's just like the so satisfying like the best feeling ever like like one of the best video game feelings ever is beating dark souls 3 dude that was like one of the hardest things i ever did and then like one of the most fulfilling things like dark souls whenever dark souls 3 came out that year that would be my game of the year. well i don't um, care what came out I feel like not enough people put respect on my name. I like didn't put, play like any Souls games, yeah, really. which is a lot of respect. Went to Sekiro, beat it in a reasonable amount of time, I think. And with some of the bosses, like with none of the bosses, I didn't use any cheese because there were like sometimes like firecrackers, for instance, you can like abuse yeah. these with certain bosses and mm -hmm. stuff. I like, people were like, you did, you made that heart so much or that fight so much harder. You could have just done blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, I did it how they designed it. Yeah, it's not like. And like the last boss, I came back to it you know, to finish like a month ago, or whatever, to like kill the meme. Yeah. Because literally my let's play just needed the <laughs> just final boss. So I go to the final boss. Hadn't played in like seven months. Took me under two hours to be the final boss. That's crazy. Which for some people was like, that took me days. Or like some like, I just feel like nobody's like, good job, Mr. Fruit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like, mean, I beat Dark Souls 3 wolf. and I start, I got to the boss where he's like on a, on a horse and he's like or it's like a bull or something like that and he's like hitting no, you no, with the a, final boss of dark souls 3 no 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 sekiro oh it's like, sekiro. Oh, yeah sekiro. yeah oh that's like the first like main boss yeah i got to him and then i stopped <laughs> <laughs> this is too hard too hard for me that was such a good fun <laughs> oh i beat it no i like beat him I just oh you did i just I didn't like go on but yeah um that game was dope all right. and that would be my game of the year all right blue what is your nice. game of the year in that Bro, you already know my game of the year. Yeah. It's easily Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Control. Oh, wow. That's. Control. <laughs> oh, my control? God. I love Control. What it is, is an artistic directive masterpiece. <sighs> what is by it? By Remedy Games. <laughs> I've uh, never heard of this game ever. <laughs> Jokes eat shit, Super Smash Bros. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Bro, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the fucking best fighting game of all time. This is factual arguments, and you can't Whoa. deny this. Whoa. I'm just saying, if you try Melee. to argue it, then I'm just saying that you're incorrect. Better than this Melee? I think so. Melee is a nostalgia trip. Let's yeah. be honest here. Melee as but it's a so game, good. fundamentally, some like the pace of the game people like and the way it technically plays or plays technically different from the games they like, but you can't say that's it's a better game. Technically and feature wise. Uh, yeah, competitively like, you can argue for better. days, right? That's fine. Yeah. But as an overall game, Ultimate Man. Ultimate is just just a everything about this game is just incredible like it's a big love letter to the entire series and sakurai please get some sleep because we're worried about you because you're working way too hard you've put out like eight million characters and you're probably going to put Zora and smash eventually and we need you to stop so please need go to sleep and i need him you, sakurai. and then i need the skins to be different like uh i need one to be riku one to be kairi maybe one be some like more sorty Axel. characters just what we need yay <laughs> so uh too long didn't read uh death stranding for rob Christian Sekiro, Blue Smash. And we won't go yeah, that yeah. into depth with these next yeah. ones, right? Really. Like, that was just our game of the years. Control, I know, is, um, wasn't that a Microsoft exclusive? I have no idea. I'd never heard of it. I, I know when I it came out. It. I just know, like, yeah. the, the, the control is red. Like, it's written in red. That's all I know about the game. And <laughs> the box cool. art's really nice. For yeah, the, the box yeah. art looks really cool. I, I, I mean, I've heard it's good. I haven't played it. I will say, honorable mention for me, well, obviously Super Smash, but also Outer Worlds. I haven't finished it yet. Mm -hmm. but it is like a love letter back to just traditional like fallout yeah of. a fallout-esque rpg game and it's so good i bet i would love it if i just had the time to put into a game like that because with games like that i have to play like 10 hours a day like i have to like sink yeah. in so much time i mean maybe. because i can't like, like those like explorer kind of rpg games i can't just do like a little two hours here and then two hours here and then two hours here i have to like sink in at least eight to ten and get lost. Why don't you just stream it? Eight to ten. <laughs> but dude, I play. The problem is, is like I play RPGs. Like I keep my inventory like shit. I, uh, me too. People are like, <laughs> "Why are you? You missed that thing over there." And it's like I don't give up. Like I don't give shit. And then like that tilts me. And then people think I play weird, so they don't want to yeah. watch that. So it's just a, yeah. a mess. You never realize how picky people can be until you play something as mundane as like a single player game. And uh, yeah. like, you're doing this wrong. It's like how am I? How can I do this wrong? Yeah, exactly. But you find a way. I refuse. My game of the year, if if it was in the thing, it would be Star Wars. Like if technically oh, it yeah. would be this new Star Wars game. Go play it. Sweet. Um, I do remember the first time though, like I as a viewer felt triggered watching someone. It was, I forget who, but it was when The Witness came out. 
that puzzle game. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching somebody because I just wanted to see what the game was about. And I was trying to watch them do a puzzle. And that's what I, I've never got a tilting watching someone before. Yeah. But I now knew what it felt when yeah. someone like tells me like gaming. that is so true. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, this is bro, it's right it's, there. Bro, yeah. I'm like, please. it's right in front of you, bro. Like, come. And he's just make I'm, like, I was literally like starting to like, <sighs> I was getting like anxious and like I had to turn it off. Yeah. It, like it, it drove me crazy. Well, Blue, can you read us the next category after this ad read? Oh, and welcome back to the GG Over Easy podcast and the awards. Dream Team Awards. Yes. Oh, you know what this makes me think of? Matters. Uh, like late, like our last podcast of December, we should have like our uh, GG Award Show, like the GG <laughs> Easy Award Show, where we dress up really nice and, and the award for the best content goes yeah, we to. Yeah, we have like. Uh, best video of best Mr. Fruit video of the year, and then we'll have like best subreddit post of the year, and then we'll have like fan art of the year. That'd be sick. Wow, yeah. I'm down. It's a good idea. I'm gonna look into that. It's a good idea, Rob. I'm a chock full of them. Uh, Blue, what's the next category uh, in the video game thing? And the next category is best game direction. <laughs> game control direction? remedy five hundred five games. Death Stranding, Kojima Productions, Resident Evil Two. Capcom. Dude, but isn't that a remake? Sorry. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Secure Shadows Die Twice from Software Activision. Outer Wall Outer Worlds. They they wait, Outer Wilds. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Outer oh, Wilds? That's, okay, my bad. Yeah, Outer one. Wilds, Mobius Digital, Annapurna. Yeah, that one gets uh, confused. Okay, what is game direction, ah. first of all? Awarded for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. Okay, mine would be Sekiro for sure then. Or Sekiro, however fuck you say it. Sekiro. Sekiro. Come Sekiro. Yeah, that game, like Christian said, like it didn't just kind of copy exactly what Dark Souls is because they could have just done that and people would have been happy with it. The parry and all that kind of stuff was really cool. And sword fighting. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> and then they like kind of made like the Japanese art style really cool, like, but they also made them like feel kind of soulsy, but also... I'm sweet. just going to go ahead and tell you Death Stranding is winning this. No doubt. You think so? Oh, I mean, for that's sure. easy death training for me too. Yeah. Wow, okay. Because people are going to be like, what Hideo Kojima has done with this game's direction is reinvent the video game wheel. Okay, can... Is it a spoiler to ask what the fuck is that game about? Like, at all? Like, I have... Uh, so, I don't know much. You have to reconnect America because we're all separated for some reason. And Separated in what there sense? Are, like, like, in the uh, air it's or post-apocalyptic, basically. Yeah, and there's like rain that's toxic or something and... Um, hoogity boogity there's like spooky black bt things and babies cry and, and but what is like death stranding i saw like they were like you gotta like send that package or we're gonna have another death stranding on our hand and i was like oh they said it like, <laughs> name drop yeah. i have no idea i know that you can zoom in the camera and norman Reedus's private parts and if you do it enough he'll like hit the camera and be like get off oh really i was yeah. like well, if you do it enough times it'll bro. show you bruh you know, bruh quit all right, so uh, Sekiro, Death Stranding, Death Stranding. That's what I think will win. I would either give it to... Well, again, I can't really say because I haven't played Death Stranding. From what I've heard, though, I guess he should probably win it anyway because what he did take a leap in, like, I guess, really trying to change a form of, like, not how you would expect a game to be. So as far as game direction goes, it makes sense. But Sekiro and Outer Wilds. I did play Outer Wilds and what that is game Outer direction Wilds? was really quick. Um, my little indie studio but essentially you're on this little planet and you're in like this little contained solar system and you, you can they're like super small planets you can fly and go to other ones mm -hmm. but you only have like 20 minutes of game time before the sun explodes and time reverses and you have to do it again oh that's kind of cool. yeah and there's a whole bunch of different spots so you have to like learn more and go to different it sounds places like, and, like majoro's mask and the sort yeah. of the sun so, so uh yeah it's really cool uh next category uh category guy Best narrative, A Plague Tale, Innocence, Asobo, Focus Home, Control, Remedy, 505, Death Strand, these are going to be redundant, Death Stranding, <laughs> Kojima Productions, Disco Elysium, Z-A-U-M, The Outer Worlds, Obsidian, Private Division. Outer Worlds. I haven't played any of these games. I haven't played any of these either, so I can't give a proper opinion on these. So Christian, you picked what? Uh, Outer Worlds. Outer... Or, sorry, Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. I've heard really good things about Disco Elysium. I've heard Death Stranding's narrative is all over the place, so I don't know. 
Control is also a heavily narrative game, though, so I could see. I'm that. gonna pick Control, dude. Control needs to win one of these things at some point. You know, it's it's literally in everything that that studio needs at least to win one, yeah. and they're that's the one they win. I respect that, Rob. I respect that. What, what would you say, boy? I don't know. I yeah, we, that's a hard. I haven't played any of these, but I imagine if they were to pick one of them, they would probably give it to Death Stranding purely because <laughs> there's something about Kojima games that are always so. How do I how do I describe it? it? They're, so they're honestly kind of like inflated. Yeah, I think it sometimes and... gets a little too complicated well, for no reason. No, but I, that's exactly why they would pick it though. Yeah. Well, that's I, true. it's I feel so conflated and there's just so much going on and none of it makes sense. And it's like you're you're pinning a bunch of pins onto those walls with the red strings, and that's why people will pick <laughs> okay. it, and that's why I respect it. So I'm probably Man, gonna go with Death Stranding. We'll it's it's almost like a, like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Like it's like Eh, I like me some Quentin Tarantino. Watch but like, that. I'm just saying, like, no, I'm just saying, like, they're both very similar and like being like different and like. Well, true, like, but like, narrative wise, I would say, because with Hideo Kojima, I don't know, from like Death Stranding, I imagine you're like confused and you're like, don't worry, at the end it'll all come together, and then it ends and you're like, I'm still confused. <laughs> what? But with like a lot of Quentin Tarantino movies, it all comes together in the end, which That's is what I like. That's the satisfying part. Um, but yeah, we should again reiterate that with a lot of these, it's like. Yeah, we haven't played many of these, so... Uh, yeah, I guess I, I... I thought I'd play video games. I guess I don't play video I games, according play. to the Video Game Awards. <laughs> yeah, according to these, I suck. Uh, you're up, Blue. What are we up next with? We, we can skip past some of these. Category. Yeah, yeah. So if it's the, not a game... Yeah, if it's well, like a I, this one, one we could definitely do, because I feel like our direction is an easy one to just okay. kind of be like, oh, yeah, this is this, oh, yeah. that's in our direction I get behind. Anyways, um, best art direction... Guess what? It's Control, Remedy Day. 505, Death Stranding, Kojima Productions, God. Grease, Nomada Studio, Devolva, Wait, Sayonara, Wild Hearts, Sayonara, Simogo, Anupuna, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, From Software, Activision, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Ooh, that's a good one. Nintendo. Best um, art direction. I'm still going to give it to Death Stranding. I, I look at that game and I think it looks pretty. But I don't want to be walking around it and being bored. But it does look very cool, and it does I'm look very real. I'm to give it to Sekiro. Oh, I like that. Just because Sekiro, well, Art Direction isn't just oh, this game's pretty. Art Direction yeah. is like the the whole style of the game, the atmosphere you give it, the yeah, dude, setting. Do, do, do the, the plebs know that? The character design. The, <laughs> There's a normal pleb every like single me. Aspect of the design of the game, where where like just every the environments. I I love. The art direction of Sekiro, just the whole setting of the game is so super sick. I've never played Sekiro, but that game has just the coolest it, just art pieces I've ever oh. seen. Not ever seen, but just of this year, probably the it's a it's a very it's a very unique game. Uh, I would go Sekiro, but since Blue did it, my second choice would be Greece. I'm I mean I'm still gonna put Sekiro, like oh, if okay. that's your first choice. Well, I it's t- Greece is I did What's play Greece? it, it's really cool. It's like it's like this indie game. Oh. Um, about um, I was like, like, I love that movie. It's about like sadness and depression and loss and oh, all this okay. kind of cool stuff, and the way they like play with watercolors and all this kind of stuff. It's dope. It's pretty cool. I'd say that's up there. But Sekiro. All right, give us the next category, Blue, that we can probably give some sort of <laughs> a I'm game. Say this is a very easy category. Um, best score, music, Ooh. Cadence of Hyrule, Brace Yourself, Games, Nintendo. Death Stranding, Kojima Productions, Devil May Cry 5, Capcom, Kingdom Hearts 3, Square <laughs> Enix, Sayonara, Wild Hearts, Simogo, Anapurna. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's it. Wow. Um, um, I'm going to put Pokemon Sword Gym Battle. Okay. Dude! Uh, <laughs> How do you Dude, spell that? Once that third, once they get to their Dynamax Pokemon, like, oh my oh, god, and the crowd wow, starts chanting, wow, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but we're talking about the, the nomination. Yeah, we talked about playing a children's card game. <laughs> um, Don't get sidetracked. I know you want to get to that. Okay. I'll start. Devil May Cry 5 is clearly the winner here. Wow. I Devil haven't Devil played that. Cry 5 has the dopest music. Yeah. And if you disagree, I'll respect your opinion, but also definitely look at you differently. I'm going with Kingdom Hearts. Um, the game may be dog shit, but that music <laughs> is great. <laughs> 
You can just hear the disappointment. I was like, God, I waited this long. I, 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 when was I talking to you? I was like, God, I and wish you started that... even beat it either. Yeah, I was like, God, I wish that game was good. Like, I just remember going into your stream and you're like square dancing. You're like, this isn't the every game. Every time you like came I in, come I was in, doing you're like, something. I was like on teacups yeah. one time. When yeah, you, came you were in. teacups, and then another time you were like. Like making love in a spaceship or something. I don't know. I was like, what is going on? You're like, you still, so, you don't have the brain, bro. Bad. You Do you ever bring up Kingdom Hearts when you're in therapy, Rob? Like it's a game <laughs> that just like seriously hurt you? Because I feel like if you waited that long for the third and how much you hate it, that has to like leave something. With I did. You. I haven't talked to Dave about it yet. So maybe I might get oh, Dave. No. Like, Dave. We're going to dig. We're going to get into a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'd say Devil May Cry 5. I haven't played it, but that's one thing I've heard. Is that the, the is tracks great music. Banger? Yeah. I'm gonna cry about the straight bangers, dude. Well, uh, but we'll also the Pokemon on. Gym Battle Team from Sword and Shield. <laughs> yeah, but mainly. Um, I want to. I want to touch on this one. Okay. Um, I lost it because these are in the weirdest order possible. He goes to esports at some point. And this is like back, the Plan B audio guy, like for reading the awards. <laughs> He's like, I can't find it. <laughs> oh, hold on, guys. Um, and category audio design. Audio design. We have How does that mean? control. By Remedy 505 Games. What the? Death Stranding by Kojima. Gears 5 by The Coalition. Resident Evil 2 by Capcom. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice from Software. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare for Infinity War, which is going to win yeah. because I can't, they nailed the sound of footsteps, man. I, they're so clear and so loud, and I love them. You know what I'm saying? It's all I can hear in the I, game. I, I, I was going to say, is this Vito, which is just, <laughs> it's my favorite. Yo, guys, there's an enemy. <laughs> like yeah. a video of Sammy when he's like, yo, guys, enemies <laughs> coming in on the fire. It's so funny. Yeah. But between... are you really picking Modern Warfare? No. Oh, I am. It does have good eyes. But, but in the salty. sense of like, but like if you shoot a gun and you're laying on dirt, the bullet when it hits the ground sounds different when it hits dirt than it would when it hits concrete. You haven't seen like that video? I mean, it goes like that in depth when like you shoot a, like a sniper the bullet cap of like hitting the ground will oh, sound different if it's like yeah, hitting dirt cool. or if it's hitting concrete. Like that little I mean, the stuff sound is of the guns super are sick. Yeah. I, I'm memeing because of just freaking. Yeah. Uh, so I, but I, that would actually be my pick. It would okay. be Modern Warfare. What? As, as bad as some of the decisions for like loudness of footsteps and then like your character, there's an enemy. Oh my God, there's a fucking enemy. There's an enemy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. The audio design of that game is like... I, it's probably the best audio design of any game I've ever played. The bullet sounds, the gun sounds, mm. when you're when you're when you reload your gun when your mag is empty. Ding. The God, every yeah. single sound in that game is just like it's ASMR. It's so fucking good. I also didn't I give, love that game's audio design. I also didn't give credit when uh, you're pitching a tent in that game. It just sounds great. <laughs> and then like when you're also like making the firewood to yeah. like get your fire going and it's fantastic setting up your camp, dude. That feels it, like you're just you're out camping, you know. So what's yours then? If you're just memeing with Marvel, it would Warfare. still be Call of Duty. Oh, okay. Like literally, my biggest complaint is from beta to the main game. They reduce gun noise. I loved how meaty and like, like the deagle and the beta. Oh yeah, oh, I couldn't hear it. Like, oh, well, you couldn't hear, it, but like, mm, so meaty. They still are. Um, please turn down the VTOL and footsteps, thanks. Yeah, I don't like the yelling either. Is that what that is? Well, the yelling, no. So the, I mean, the footsteps are just the footsteps. VTOL is the hairier thing, the kill streak. Oh, uh, they, they mostly fix the yelling, but the issue, yeah, the yelling is now the footsteps. My goodness. Yeah, but the yelling now they made it so that. You still yell sometimes, but the enemy doesn't. Is it hear. just like it's, you might as well have elephant feet, bro? And they had it too, to where like, um, like crouching isn't silent or anything. Like I could just be on the other side of the map, and I'm like, you're, you're, uh, you're 370 degrees southwest, um, because I can just hear you. God, it's insane. But yeah, that was me when the audio design. What else do we want to? There, there's honestly a lot of categories. So what? Yeah, what are like the good, the big ones? I don't want best foreign video game. Okay? Let's get well. Let's get to the ones that we can, content creator will of the year. be able to have oh, an opinion on. Oh, I would like content creator of the year. Yeah, we have um, Mr. Fruit. Oh, uh, Mr. Fr <laughs> oh my God, Mr. Fruit. I did not make the list. Oh, feels bad. We do have Courage, Jack Dunlop, Doctor Lupo. He's cool. Uh, Benjamin hopefully, Lupo. Hopefully Lupo wins. Ewok, Solhel Wheeler. Ewok is the uh, Fortnite girl who's like deaf, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gref G, David Martinez, Shroud, Michael 
What in the world? Yeah, his last that? name is Jeez. Wild. Yeah. yeah, I can't say that. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did, boy, did you just go? Yeah. <laughs> huh. yeah well, huh. It's kind of hard for me to um, watch any of these people. You know, it's incredible go too. Is dark horse. None of these are YouTubers. All these are just Twitch streamers. I'm I'm gonna go with the dark horse. I would love Doctor Lupo to win, um, but I think that Ewok girl is gonna win. Okay. I think her signing with FaZe and going to Mixer and doing all that kind of stuff at like what? She's like a 13? But it says Content Creator of the Years has made an important and positive impact on the industry in 2019. Yeah, I think she made like, I mean, she's deaf and has like raised a lot of like awareness for like deaf video gamers out there. So I would pick Ewok. I'd say Lupo. Lupo? Oh, yeah. Because of his charitable contributions and stuff. Yeah. He's also, I don't. I know all these per- people except for Gref G. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know. That's the only one who I didn't know. I know that's, that's Gref. I, uh, I I would guess he's probably one of those like uh, Fortnite streamers. I have no idea. Yeah, don't ask me. Uh, what about you, Blue? Content creator of the year. Uh, the only person I really have an opinion on is probably Courage because. And that's purely because I do not stop seeing his stuff in my feed from people retweeting it or from oh, he's everywhere. his promotional stuff. I would probably pick Courage purely, purely because the marketing team or whoever, his general marketing strategy with 100 Thieves is out of this world. They're killing and the production it. quality of his stuff is actually pretty fucking crazy. It is. And I've, I haven't seen production quality of just anything because everything he does has like stupid production quality. And I've never seen that with a content creator. So I'd probably pick him. Hey, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I got, Did I got, you not see that Smash got, tournament video? Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. A Smash video, bro? Come on. It doesn't get more legit scuff than that. Golf, I mean, come on, that golf video, too, puts a lot of production. Yeah. Come on, now. <laughs> Actually, that took forever to <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I know what you're talking about. And I think, like you said, I think a lot of it is that backing from like 100 Thieves and having like that professional editing team to help him. And Yeah, so he's got a team behind him. You can tell. Yeah. And it works. It comes off as mad professional. I feel like I'm... Yeah, what's the category of the video sick. game awards made up so that Destiny 2 could be nominated for one? Oh. What's it... that one called? Oh, the ongoing game. Ooh, yeah, boy. the video, the one they made up. Do you want me to read that one? Here we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Best ongoing game. Apex Legends Respawn. Destiny 2. Bungie. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV. Square Enix. Ooh. I'm sp- Fortnite. Fortnite. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. 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 Yes. Games. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Ubisoft That's... Montreal. Ubisoft. <laughs> Do you realize how long Rainbow Six Siege has been out? It's been around a long time. It's Three and a half years or something. No way, dude. Longer than that. Remember we Much played it at the that. E3, that first E3 we went to, and it was like a playable demo? Like, that was the year that well, Siege came about that, out. That's how long Four Honor's been out. That too. Like, I, know. I will say Ubisoft does a good job of, like, supporting their games. Well, especially Rainbow Six Siege. That thing was, like, dead on release. It was dead on 100%. Yeah, and scuffed. And now it's, like insanely popular i don't remember what they did but they figured out how to turn it around and, and it's impressive best ongoing game um I feel like fortnite is just gonna win because you think because it is this by votes because if I so think, then yeah then, i think I the think i think the fortnite. casuals get the vote i think yeah. we, uh i would probably vote apex um if we like apex yes we do like apex i would probably be mine uh the new map is cool um I like the new, I like the differentness or the like the changes between heroes and stuff like that. I don't like that everybody's like everything's different. When you go to like Fortnite, everyone's just cranking nineties and stuff. It's just I, I can't do it. What about uh, you, Blue? Best ongoing game, Destiny Two. I don't want to be the memer here, but I am gonna pick Destiny Two. Okay, <laughs> and you guys are probably not gonna be like Ooh, Destiny Two, but. <laughs> I'm holding back. No, Look, PvP's good. bad. It's not and bad. Because you guys are PvP guys. But the PvE content in Destiny 2 has been pretty fuego yes. for about all, over a year now. So It has. Do you, will, the, will the stands come out and put Destiny 2 above Fortnite? Um, Maybe. I don't know. They maybe. probably won't, but I'm picking Destiny 2. Okay. I'm actually torn between Destiny 2 and Fortnite. No meme. Yeah. Because, I mean, while Fortnite is a meme, Dude, the, way the they amount t- of it's content... It's undeniable. Yeah, yeah. Like... The system they have behind that, I mean, it's because they, you know, crazy workhorses, but like 
they put out unsustainable stuff. Like it's insane. Well, I mean, how much stuff they release and how consistently every week, new updates, huge events. Like they change the game, like in the sense of like, have you noticed every game has a season pass now, like or some sort of like kind of thing? Yeah, now well, that, that is, they 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 are the industry leaders. It's yeah. not even close. A CS Go a for that. just got a season pass. No, oh, I mean everything's nuts. getting. It. But I think like Fortnite just literally due to that sheer amount of work and people they have behind this pushing it is like destiny does a good job but they just i mean they don't have the the sheer manpower They're not on cnn like for yeah they just don't have that sheer manpower so in that sense i think fortnite would get it um but i think destiny 2 is an ongoing game if you think of like this says that evolves the player experience over time um i think that could win because they're they're they have like story arcs that they're telling over time they have these bigger releases and these events. And so while it might not be like as much content as like Fortnite or something in a sense, um, I think for how long they've been doing it and where they're going, I, I think they're doing a good job. So Fortnite. Fortnite. Okay. <laughs> Fortnite like is just, Fortnite? I don't know. Their, their, their production is just at a completely different level. Yeah. Like it's almost unfathomable to see, to think about how much gets put into that game. Yeah, you can't keep up. You can't compare yourself to that either. Like if you're a game studio, like you just... You can't. It's not possible. It's unhealthy. Yeah. Like, like they literally have unlimited production budget. It'd be like comparing yourself to just, And they put it into the game. It's nuts. Uh, let's see if there are any other categories yeah, we can touch if on. If there's anything that like jumps out at you. Um, action game. Okay. Sure. Ooh, action game. We have Apex Legends Respawn. That's an action game? What? What you mean it's an I action mean, game? There's a lot of action, I'd say. It's I, action. Yes. It's a. This says for the best game in the action genre focused primarily on combat. Okay, but I don't know. I guess that's just don't. I, I don't know. I guess who my is, definition of action's weird. Who is calling me? Get out of here. Who's got the balls to call me right now? Uh, Astral Chain, Platinum Games. Ooh. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Captain Price, uh, me, Infinity mm. Ward, Devil May Cry Five. Capcom. I heard when that came out. I heard that game was so sick. Weird. Gears 5, The Coalition. Metro Exodus, 4A Games, Deep Silver. That's it? Yep. Um, I liked Metro, but I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Um, I guess I would probably just go with Apex. Yeah. Same. I, I like Apex. We like Apex. We like Apex. Although, yeah, I've heard good things about Astral Chain. I just haven't played that. Same with Devil May Cry 5. I feel like Devil May Cry 5 might win this one. That it probably will. I just I, I'm probably picking Devil May Cry Five personally. Did you play it, Blue? Yeah. Okay. The combat in that game is so sick. The going back to just like crazy combos you can pull off in that game is awesome. I heard the memes That's, in that game were funny too. Like it was just. It's a, a great meme worthy game. game, and everything about the game is fucking sick. The combat is probably the most satisfying part. Just pulling off stupid combos is is the sickest part of devil may cry and this game did it perfectly so as far as satisfying gameplay when it comes to action games the second best would probably be modern warfare for me but i'm gonna have to give it to devil may cry great way to stay in shape all right is that probably the last one that you're seeing yeah i'm looking through them i mean for the most part we've played a couple of these yeah but the thing is i'm just tired because at this point it's literally just like the best fighting game super smash bros ultimate yeah. But seriously, yeah, most of these are just like the same. So six. The big one, the big ones. Uh, to just recap, uh, game of the year. Uh, Christian had Sekiro, Blue had Smash, and I had Death Stranding. We'll count that one as three points. And then when the awards are out, come back. Only the ones I guess we touched on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those are the only ones that are important because our opinions are the most important. So yeah. if we don't care about the other ones, you shouldn't, you shouldn't either. either. Just turn off that. Also, I would just list all the other ones, but the way they have this set up is just so Probably difficult. Most of the yeah. are, are very are, are similar, and we're also going down a very convoluted design. Very yeah, long just, web page to see these nominees. Not, yeah. mo- not mobile friendly. Not and mobile friendly. If we want to get to something you two stands want to talk about, uh, now's the time. Okay, uh, but before we go, best esports player, where's MK Leo? Oh, okay, what? anyways, moving on. They don't have any. It's mainly just like league and like CS:GO players, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, but if you're talking about dominating players, who well, that's are what I'm nuts. saying. But I think 
wears them for them a lot. It's it's mainly just like also like popular esport players. I bet Sonic. I bet I, I don't even know if he's nominated, but no, I bet Sonic. Sonic Fox well, Sonic Fox won last year. I feel like they want to have new. You have Booga people. Yeah, the guy that won Fortnite World Cup. Yeah, but he's not like faker. That's sick. But has he won six S tier Smash tournaments in a row? <laughs> I don't think so. Put him Kayla on this Baker list played now. like shit in Worlds though. How he can't dare. win. Let's try, I feel like he's been on this list every time. Yeah. Perks, which is another league player. Simple, which is a CSGO player. Ooh, go simple. And Sinatra Ooh. for Overwatch. Uh, I think Sinatra wins just on the fact he got like he won like the Overwatch League and he got MVP. Uh, I don't care. I mean, I don't either, but I just know. I'm going to say, <laughs> I don't watch, well, the league I do. Simple won't win. I would like to see Simple win, but he ain't gonna. I'll say Perks. I don't know who that is. Perks is like the best Europe mid laner, but the thing is, he was dominating the region and then switched to AD carry, which I was like, you can't do that. And he switched to AD carry and is the best AD carry in the West now. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah. He's crazy. I think he's. Wait a minute. That's illegal. <laughs> Wait a minute. So wait, what do, why are we talking about stands, Ron? Uh, because Pokemon is out, and you guys have just oh. been playing it, and oh. we're running out of time, and you guys we can love try fucking to keep Pokemon. This as brief as we can in our opinions yeah. on it, I guess. And you guys Fruit, love Pokemon. Or who, 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 should we, who should go first here? Or do you want? Uh, to I, I haven't played Pokemon? it at all, so I'm not going at all. <laughs> I'll go first, quick, because I haven't finished it yet. So okay. I still haven't finished it. I'm close. I think I'm going to the seventh gym leader now. But I already have, because that's what I was hearing beforehand, was like 14 hour uh, time to play. I'm at like 23, and I'm not even at 7th gym. And I'm still trying to not do some stuff. Well, don't you play differently, though? Like, you're trying to, like, catch Well, I mean, Pokemon. I also, yeah, I, every Pokemon I come across, I try to catch, if I don't have it. But, like, <laughs> I'm, having to, I'm having to actively avoid the wild area, because... Like when I started the game, that was the problem. I got stuck there for like two and a half hours. Because I'm just like, oh, new Pokemon. Did. Oh, I'm going over here. Oh, look at this. Oh. And then I over leveled. Um, so I've been trying to avoid that. But the wild area, I think is dope. I think it could be better. But it's a good step in the right direction. And it's a nice breath of fresh air. Yes, Rob. Uh, what is uh, the wild? Area? Yes. Okay. So it is a route of sorts that you enter and it's like, more open world esque. It's a whole bunch of routes, and in the wild area, you can see other players as well. Oh, really? Yeah, moving around and everything. Um, and then there are these dens that you go, and that's where you do these max raid battles, where a Pokemon's in this thing, and then you can team up with three other people. Well, I've seen you guys like I've stopped in your guys' streams while you guys have been playing, and I just see half the time you guys are just giant fighting Pokemon or yeah. something. Yeah, those are max raid battles. Oh, it's so sick. So you can go in there, find these rare Pokemon or stuff, or uh, Gigantamax Pokemon, play with your friends or other people online, fight them, try and catch them. That's pretty cool. Cool social aspect and stuff. I like the, I like where that's headed. What that could become what do you later get on from like destroying a raid Pokemon. So you can catch them, and some of them you Pokemon you can only find there, or you can find hidden abilities with them, or certain forms you can only find in raid battles. Uh, so you get to try and catch them if you beat it. And then after that, you also get a whole bunch of rewards. Uh, Does everybody get to catch it or just only one person in yeah. the party? Everybody. everybody gets one shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you miss it, then is it. If it escapes the ball? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's cool. Um, so you've got that running around the wild area. And then all these different routes have so many different Pokemon. Um, I mean, there's like hundreds literally just in the wild area. But the ditch, the... The well, so the Dexit, so this is, I'll move to the Dexit next, but the wild area, really fun. You can get lost in there. Cool seeing people moving around. Wish you could do a little bit more socially. Maybe that'll come one day. Um, it's like... Nintendo Online, so doubt it. Yeah, but um, it's like a, a little taste of what it could be, which is fun. Um, the overworld Pokemon are really cool going around, finding those people. And then there's the Dexit issue. I will say... So at this point, game's already out, so it's not really spoilers. Um, there's only 400 Pokemon in the game yeah. out of nearly 900. Yeah. And that's it. There's no national decks. And when we say that, too, you, like, you can't bring in any Pokemon that is not in that 400. You can't trade into it, nothing. Just those 400. On the other hand, though, I will say, having not completed the game yet, it is dope having a regional Pokedex that big, though. Because it feels so much more... Like diverse and fun. Every route has new Pokemon you haven't seen before. 
Like there's so much to catch at first. And it's like overwhelming in a good way. So the regional decks. Being I can only imagine is, how you would feel if it was actually nine hundred. If every Pokemon was in the game, if, we'll see. It's over. If it's overwhelming now, like. Well, normally they don't do that. But what happens is you beat the game and you unlock the national decks or whatever. Sometimes some new Pokemon will appear. But then what happens is you can also trade every Pokemon. You can have all the Pokemon points. Every Pokemon could be in the game, whether or not it's catchable in the game. Mm. But there's four hundred Pokemon to boot that you can catch, and that's dope. That's really fun. Uh, so I do like that. The music, a lot of the music, especially some of the cities, are like actually I, really dope. Like we heard earlier, we heard your rendition but then, of the gym battle. But then the, the gym battle, oh. And then you get goes to the Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, ah, you got the people cheering in the back. And you're just like, oh, awesome. Ah. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty dope. Not going to lie. Uh, music, pretty good. Um, the Pokemon that are in the game, um, a lot of them have, some of the animations are lazily, lazy, but then other times it's like beautiful animations. Dude, there was like this Pokemon you were using. It was like a dark fairy thing and it looked like it had like triceps Grimmsnarl? and biceps. Hey, watch yourself. Or biceps. I think it was disgusting. He's jacked. Right? Dude, was Grimmsnarl's kind of sick though. What no, I think it was ugly. <laughs> All right. I know the respect. And that. then you put like a Barracuda in your party. But a scooter. Bear's yeah. is so sick. Yeah, and then what? he was like, I'm going to level this up. Rare candy, rare candy, rare candy, no, rare, candy rare candy, rare candy. I was like, what? Well, because I'm the problem is I just want to use all the new Pokemon. Yeah. So I come across a new one. I'm like, oh, shoot, I want to add this to my party. So I swap it out. And everything's like level 45 and it's like 20. You're very you get, indecisive with your team. That was one of yeah. my, that was one of those moments where I got kind of frustrated. Like where you, you were giving me anxiety. You would not <laughs> stop swapping your team from route to route. Yeah. Was like, but that's no but, but that's a good part of the game. That's a good part of the game. And your playthroughs, like I know when you did, you would have like on the bottom left, like all the Pokemon in your party and stuff. Yeah. Are you still doing that? No. I was gonna say. No. <laughs> um, but I mean, the reason is because I just want to use the new Pokemon, and there's just so many ones. Because like that's also what I'll say. Gen eight designs, I actually love them. You said you were they, they were slept on. Yeah. Like Gen eight slept on. Slept in what on, sense? Yeah. Like they're great, or I think they're really good. Um, a lot of the Pokemon are really cool or like have some cool aspects to them. Um, whatever the fudge that penguin's name is, though, no. That I'd, thing is. Yeah, I a liked nightmare. it at first and then the, I designed simmered with me and I don't like the design. Oh, I didn't ask. Uh, is this, was the Sobble leak real? Like, is that what yeah. actually Sobble looks like on it? Yeah, every form? single leak was, well, 90% of the leaks that we saw were real. So, yeah. Um, so that still kind of sucks. Ah. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. But for the most part, a lot of the designs. And so that's just like, it's like oh, I want to use this one. Oh, I want to use this one. Oh, I want to use this one. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to put the poll before I go to the Elite Four. And of all the Pokemon I've used, I'll be like, all right, pick six. And then I'll just use whatever people want me to. Have, have yeah. you guys not liked the aspect of like everybody gets XP shared in your party now? I mean, I'm just used to it at this point. Um, I've come to accept it, yeah. That's someone had a good argument is that if it's if they're under the assumption that it can't be turned off and it will always be on, they can bounce the game around that. And I don't think they did a great job with that, but it is good reasoning. And I can kind of see in some parts when I'm playing, like, oh, okay, this is probably why they did it. Um, it's it's a little unfortunate though because like my my starter Grookey, which is now Rillaboom, is almost level fifty, and I haven't had to really use them. It's like because when I want to start using someone to level them up. Whoops, everyone else got five levels too. Yeah. So like, I'm actually not able to swap between everyone as much as I want um, because everyone just levels so fast. So I think there's just an issue of scaling, but as far as like the XP thing on all the time, I mean, it's it's definitely easier and it's just more convenient, yeah. which is probably just the route they were going. Um, so I understand it. I wish I had the option to turn it off. Well, because then I feel like you get to that point, like when you wanted to put Barracuda in your team, that he was 27, and now you had all these 48s, yeah. and the only way you could like get him up is if you rare candy, rare candy, rare candy. Yeah. Or, well, the problem too is like there's no one in that region. I, I could have him sit in the party and gain XP and slowly level up, but the point is I just want to use him now. I know most of the people I'm throwing in my party recently, like it's just to see the new Pokemon, use him real quick, and then swap them out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I can understand why. Uh, I'm sure later in the playthrough too, people are <clears throat> as it gets uploaded to YouTube, they're gonna be pissed. Yeah. Like, quit swapping. I don't know, like, well, I like it. 
Well, um, you guys can suck this ad while we wait for <laughs> Blue's opinion on Pokemon. Hopefully, this is a sandwich from the ad. Nice transition. And welcome back to the GG Over Easy podcast. Quickly talking about our Pokemon thoughts. I don't have much more to say because I will say, playing through the game right now, the main story, there's a noticeable lack of story, really. The story is, hey, these other people are going to figure out what's going on and just fight the gym leaders, which is fine, I guess, whatever. The rival, which isn't even really a rival. Super annoying. What do you God, I hate him. You can't even name him anymore. What? I you know? hate Hop. Oh, yeah. my God. You can't is, name him? No. That sucks. And Hop and his brother, who, by the way, has a Charizard. Hey, did you know he has a Charizard? He has a Charizard. By the way, he's unbeatable. He's unbeatable. Champion, he's the champion. champion. He's the unbeatable champion. champion. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. champion. God. Wait, so Hob is the champion or Hob's brother? His is brother. And if I had a dollar for every time they mentioned he's unbeatable, he's the champion. Is he, he has a Charizard. I'm just going to lose it. Is he um, like his older brother or younger brother? Older brother. Okay. No. You can clearly tell I'm there's, the champion, a, the champion, the there's a dynamic in the family. Hob hasn't gotten enough love and his family doesn't love him enough because he doesn't have any accolades. Doesn't have a Charizard. But he simultaneously yeah. somehow has an ego. Yeah, it's incredible. Because I guess his brother is the unbeatable champion with the Charizard. Unbeatable. By the way, something tells me you guys are gonna uh, battle him. At <laughs> if I was no, guessing. but he's unbeatable. I if can't I beat like, him. <laughs> I can't beat him. He's the unbeatable champion, and he has a Charizard. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert! I think you fight him at some point. <laughs> so, stories. So whatever it is right now, but just going through like like people were talking about. Yeah, we might be upset about some things, but even at the end of the game, like it's still a core RPG Pokemon game, and that that recipe alone is enjoyable like you're gonna have fun with that no matter what which i am and so going through that the new pokemon like i really am i am having a fun time i like the game mm -hmm. but it's just when i know i beat it and there's like no end game and then for me my end game will be complete the decks but as soon as i do that it's kind of like borderlands for you offensive like yeah. you're having a good time now but you know when you get to that yeah, point it's gonna kind of peter off yeah so that i'm not looking forward to but going through it right now, I mean, it's a it's a fun Pokemon game. It could be a lot better. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it's fun. It just looks like it, it's weird. Like it doesn't look like a Switch game to me. It looks like a ported like handheld game. It's a 3DS game. This, it, yeah, yeah, it's weird. Like it doesn't look like a Switch game. Well, that's what um, I mean, there are like rumors and stuff about what happened, but essentially, it is kind of like a originally it was going to be a 3DS game or something, and it was a bit of a port. And again, they've been working for on it for under two years. Um, but then on top of that, it's now the fastest selling Switch game. So, yeah, that boycott really works. Yeah, huh, yeah guys? we killed it. <laughs> but I, like, but like I said, I'm still gonna play it. I'm still gonna get it, I'm even though I don't agree copies. with it. <laughs> yeah, and I know like some people. It's fucking Pokemon, man! I'm absolutely yeah. gonna play the fuck out of it. Yeah. So, those are my thoughts. I'm having fun. It could be better, and I'm sure I'll be a little more disappointed uh, post game. Once I do some max raid battles, which which will be fun, but I just there are moments of like brilliance in this game, and other moments of like, what yeah. this is lazy or uninspired or something like that. So what yeah. you know, I'm a sucker for scores. So what's your score right now? <laughs> Where's it on my tier list? Yeah, <laughs> is it A? Um, right now playing through it like I am with the regional decks and all the new Pokemon, having fun. I'd put it a nine out of ten. Wow, great score. But it'll probably fall. Afterward. All right, what do you think of it so far, Blue? You've been playing a lot. Uh, I'll keep my review under three minutes here since we're running out of time. Um, this okay. is this is probably the best and worst Pokemon game I've ever played. Amen. Uh, good shit. Wild area is so dope. I love like having raids to do, finding Pokemon, going around farming raids. Can you? I know this game do doesn't have like a lot friends? of end game, but this is probably the most I've enjoyed. A game's end game since Battle Frontier because you could do the max raids. Max raids are really fun. Um, you could farm specific dens to try and get like Gigantamax Pokemons, even though they're not that important. But I want them because they look collector. Cool. <laughs> yeah, they look so sick. So I want them. For that reason, I've had so much fun with the game's end game, despite it being pretty one note. Because the end game basically is catch Pokemon. raids. It's raids. Yeah. And it's if someone doesn't like the raids, Pokemon. there's so if you don't like it, else. then you're probably not gonna like the game um positive stuff the the soundtrack is so dope this is probably my favorite soundtrack of any of the pokemon games because an og well like og so OG. 
so a lot of games have like one or two bangers are like oh this is a banger right and generally there's some good like overall music but this game is full of bangers the gym music is amazing most of the town music is super super good the mm-hmm. uh, battle themes yeah, are wild really pokemon great. battle every time I'm like, yeah. oh it's a jammer the your marnie's theme is absolutely a banger uh this, the ost is amazing the wild area i love the in battle cutscenes. i know people don't like those yeah. but those are fucking hype oh, i see you've hype, learned so how to use don't a take away my in battle cutscenes. like when like when they're about to the dynamax they're like oh, oh I'm yeah the, my strongest dynamax i'm like bro this is hype anime. i don't understand how people can <laughs> so just like this is yeah. hype you've activated my trap card banta 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 so you've beaten it blue sick. and the yeah he has okay yeah i, I beat the i beat I'm literally just doing end game shit now. I've I finished the post game and the main game and all that good stuff. I guess end game could be. Decks. I guess end game could be like shiny hunting too, if that's kind of your. Core. Yeah, end game. Well, so sh- shiny hunting is pretty much always if you're a collector, everyone's end game. So that's kind of a given. But as far as like laid out end game, which people want, like they want to do battles, they want to do battle frontier, they want to do like difficult content. There's nothing really like that besides raids. But I like that. I think it's dope. Um. What else is good about this game? Uh, fucking, I like a lot of the art direction and all the new Pokemon besides the starters are really good. I and don't care penguin. for the starters at all, really. Besides Grookey's Evo, Rillaboom, which yeah. is fucking sick. He is sick. He's just a big gorilla. Like the the base Pokemon, the starter Pokemon themselves, I love all those designs. 100%, but, yeah. but then their evolutions are I, whack. I have a question. Mm-hmm. what's that thing that i keep seeing on twitter and social media like these memes of like there's like pokemon like walking around and uh, then, like the pokemon, camp. pokemon camp yeah what is that uh so in gen in last gen they kind of had like the this thing where you could interact with your pokemon like on your 3ds screen and this is kind of like an expansion of that like on switch so you could go camp with your pokemon you can make curry with your pokemon you could like play with your Pokemon and you oh. could like tease them with like the little feather toy. Does it really so do just, anything? Or is it uh, just it'll like raise there. your friendship and levels, but it's beyond that, it's really just a place where you can interact with your Pokemon like on a different level. A place where you can put uh into club by fifty cent behind uh hundred percent hey, my boy Crow Gun. <laughs> so that's yeah. pretty cool. Um So what's so your score? Well, now we get to the negatives. Because oh, I've been saying a lot yeah. of positives about this game. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot I of positives. about the negatives. <laughs> This game is so ugly environment wise. This game has the yeah. ugliest environments. I'm playing a PS2 game. 100% <laughs> this is a PS2 game. When you look at there's hills that look like they were made on PS1. I don't know what they're it's like. Polygons. It's like the Windows 98 hill. That's like the political. Yeah, the 100%. It's, it's the Windows 98 hills, but Laura Croft's titties are the hills. <laughs> it's nuts. Uh, the environments are so bad. All the routes are super linear. There's no exploration in this game. That is the yeah. worst part of this game mean. there's literally no like hidden areas there's no like places that you couldn't go to because you weren't the champion there's no there's really no exploration even in the wild area it's all laid out for you which sucks uh all the routes are super linear which is li- that's it's, my yeah, biggest just, complaint and um, i guess like for me like it's literally like you get into a route routes are short and it's just point a to point b it's just like oh point a, yeah point yeah. a to point b it's the worst nothing and that's, in between and you know and I've never really, that's never really been how Pokemon games work. I know in Sun and Moon it was kind of like that, but this one is straight up walk here, walk here. Well, you're at the next town. Walk oh, here, walk and here. can we also talk about how Team Yell literally just exists to block routes? Team I who? love Team Yell, man. They're useless. And that's Team why I love Yellow? Them. Team Yell. They're Yellow. like the, so, they're not even really bad guys, but they just, just block annoying. routes. I yeah. love them. But, I really like Team Yell. But every time you're in the game, you want to go somewhere. They're just sitting there like, you, you can't get past here yet. It's like okay, ever like, but that's the thing. Like this game is that's more the linearity feels, of the game that they yeah, made it just it. feels like you're on a track. Yeah, like yeah, just, yeah. But sorry, go ahead. Uh, fucking, I think I the think environments are. My... Tr- I I will go into your guys' streams, and sometimes the frames are li- literally like oh, yeah, oh, performance is like, just absolutely terrible. <laughs> like really, like how does it look that bad? It's pretty bad. I mean, and that's the and the biggest complaint is the complaint of everybody on why this game could be better is this is a 3ds game that was portal to switch 100 percent. it looks like it. the wild area is sick the wild area is the only part of the game like oh this is a switch game but as soon as you get out of the wild area you're just playing another 3ds game there's no innovation everything's super linear 
you it, it's it's just a 3ds game so i would love to have an entire game based on the wild area but unfortunately yeah. it is not that game um well, for me i think they kind of like fool you too when you yeah. start that game and right before wedgehurst and stuff it was beautiful i was like this is dope you're like on top of a hill you can see out super far there's like rolling hills. You can see houses First area and of the gyms. Game is very beautiful, yeah. Yeah, like you're like, oh, this is. You can feel like it seems like they put all their love into that, and then everything else was just like, meh. And uh. then you get to the next town. Yeah, and every town is two houses, a Pokemon Center, and a gym. That's it. And a stadium that just happens to house thousands nice. of people, despite there being <laughs> yeah. three houses in a town. That's incredible. But that's literally like every town it's so small oh the gyms that was another positive the gyms are so yeah. these are the gyms best are gyms in any pokemon game i'll die on this hill a these gyms are same. so sick and like the when you go into a stadium and just pokemon battle it is the sickest feeling ever do you mean gym the in the aspect of like oh i to get to this point to this point i gotta like dodge these holes like i was watching you oh that's okay, just one no. of the challenges challenges is that can what eat you my mean ass. Like, challenges are boring yeah, but the gym so battles themselves and the gym leaders fight are really, the gym really cool. leader. Yeah. Why is it? What's different between that gym battle and another gym battle? They're the same. First off. Well, no. The, are you talking about different, like previous games? Yeah. Like, what's the difference between a gym battle in this game than the Sun atmosphere? And yep. Fundamentally, nothing. But just like yeah. the the presentation of it, the atmosphere oh, okay. is so sick. You're in a stadium. They make you feel and as then, if. It's, yeah. Yeah, okay. and they've they've started doing this in Sun and Moon, where they really try to give gym leaders like more personality. And each of the gym leaders has like their own personality, which I really enjoy. And then just the like legit, it's fucking like the game is so anime at some points because right when they're about to Gigantamax, <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> I see them on my last Pokemon. Mm. We're going to have to give you our final attack. Uh, you're like, do and it. And then it goes into cutscene and they pop okay. the Dynamax. It's hype. Yeah, I really it's... like Dynamaxing too. Okay, I'm yeah, going I... too long. Anyways, it's a good game. But it's also really safe. But it's also super sick. But it's also really bad. <laughs> so it's like a hard seven out of ten for me. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like when I'm when I'm enjoying the game, I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. But then when I'm not, I'm like, Ugh, like what is going on here? But it's that's why like overall, especially in these earlier parts and certain things, like I'm skipping over like towns. Some like town designs are super dope. Like the mushroom so forest sick. one. Like this yeah. is beautiful. But it's ten yards, three not houses even. and a stadium, like one screen. And yeah, like it's, it's it's boop, 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 boop. like that's. I was like, it's such a missed opportunity. So I stopped going to the houses too because there's nothing in them. Yeah, they like there's not even that's just thing like you said. There's no point in exploring if there even is any exploration. Like there's just nothing waiting for you. But I I will say the Dynamax. I was worried about. I was like, this is stupid. But I think the fact it's that so they stupid. saved it for important battles and like gym battles actually makes it cool and max rate I thought battles. I would hate it yeah because when they said you could you can't do it outside of gym battles and like important battles I thought this is going to be lame but it it makes it feel more important yeah so I like it cuz like like Z moves and Sun and Moon I got over that I was like I don't want to use this cuz I don't have to watch this animation <laughs> like yeah. that was Z moves for me um but anyway yeah so we're liking it it's not perfect but we have our and people on. are like, Rob, have you been playing it? I'm like, no, I've been playing Star Wars, which is super fucking sweet, and you should get it. That's my review. That's my game of the year. Go get it. That's what I've been doing. Boom. Um, but we got to move on to the uh, Patreon question. Yes. I think I, do, how do you, Patreon, 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 I would also Comments recommend if you are writing in questions, if try and like make it kind of like off topic or something like that, because then I can pick it. Because if you ask another anime question, like we already discussed anime, so it's like I'm gonna not pick that. Did someone say anime? No. <laughs> Bro, wrong. Yeah. So let's go. First question we have here is from Chris Meyer. Chris, thank Thanks, you for Chris. supporting me. Hello, Chris. Uh, it says, so I have always wanted to know what do y'all uh, think your lives would have been like if YouTube didn't pan out and the dream team was never founded. I'm still I waiting get, for it to pan out, though. So. <laughs> I get this question a lot. Uh, I would probably have finished my degree in school. Uh, and it was a journalism degree. Journalism and technical communications or something like Actually, that. Actually, they changed, they changed the journalism oh, and media communications. Yeah, yeah, JMC, Journalism and Media. It was JTC, and yeah. then name change. I mean, they changed it, I think, like the year I dropped out. So 
probably doing that and then like writing stories somewhere and probably hating my life honestly <laughs> nice. something like that i had no idea i had no idea if i really think about it i probably would have gone back to like cgc and just done valet and trying to find like a journalism job i had really no idea so thanks <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> i i've talked about this a couple times uh be even more depressed <laughs> and that uh, the thing is i don't even know where i'd be because i had no idea what i even wanted to do yeah i was doing the same degree just to do it yeah it was like for my parents more often um yeah i hated college didn't know where i was going didn't know what i was doing uh things weren't looking great honestly yeah future was bleak so uh thank god youtube came along we appreciate you guys yeah gave me some purpose (laughs) otherwise I would have figured out some way. I'd be doing something, but Probably yeah, with your dad or something like that. I'd be like, whatever it was. I can guarantee I'd hate it. <laughs> and day to day life would just suck. Yeah. Um, but it's hard to imagine, like I said, because I didn't even have any prospects or me too. Like that's future why. or yeah. That's I was why just, I thank God like this happened. I was just slugging it out in college, hating my life. Yeah. What about you, Blue? Just uh. <laughs> wow. Well. Uh, <laughs> still waiting on mine to pan out so i can't say this is You'd probably be the next yet. you would, probably would have been the next jeff bezos yeah probably <laughs> i think we brought uh, you down. <laughs> i don't know i probably still be working a graphic design job working and i'd probably be on another graphic design job now uh my last job was good but i didn't like it but i do like graphic design so i probably would still be working toward that but we do like this and that's all I that can't matters. say I would hate my whatever design job I was doing because I've always had a plan if whatever didn't pan out. It's not like I love like just sitting there all the time like, oh, graphic design is so sick. But it is something I could see myself doing the rest of my life without any problems. But That's good. Uh, I agree, though. Here I, we are. And uh, I can't say I even know what I'm doing yet. So <laughs> here we are. Dang. I think Blue and I are not really a positive or a negative answer. Just kind of a yeah. I mean, we're here. Well, I'd probably be successful somewhere else, but here I am. Here, being successful here. I think, like Blue, I think we like creative jobs, and I think whatever. If I wasn't doing this, it would have to be something creative. Something that like gets your brain juices flowing. Yeah, and where I'm having uh, apply myself. Yeah. Um. Because like I did, I like graphic design too. I might have done something with that. Um, now I have other opportunities I could afford because of what I've done. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't mind writing or doing something like that. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. But that's not something I would have done prior to this. Um, but creative stuff. Yeah, that's what I like. All right. Well, thank you, Chris, for the question. Um, we have this next one from Zachariah Bolin. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Uh, what is your guys' favorite childhood video game? Also, what is a game you love but most people hate? Um, I will go first on this one. My favorite childhood game. Uh, I saw this question on the Patreon like two, three days ago, so I got a little bit of time to think oh, about that's it. Cheating. Yeah, so that's why I'm going first. So you guys think <laughs> now. Uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Uh, that's like one of and like that was like in a time before you could just go online. And like kind of like look up how to do a quest or something like that or like where to go from here to here when you're like a seven or eight year old kid dude legend of zelda ocarina of time it took me like three and a half years to beat that game and so like when i think of like my childhood game like that was it because when if i played legends of ocarina like legend of zelda ocarina of time now i'd beat it in like two or three days but like when you're a kid and you don't have any guides and stuff like that that Forty dollar game lasted me three years until I finally like beat it and stuff and got like a game guide. So like when I think of like my like childhood video game, like that's like the quintessential one. Like childhood, I think childhood is like five to like eight, and that was the one I played the most. And it got like because like in that game it, it's Zelda, so it has all the puzzles and stuff like that. And it makes you think. I like credit a lot of uh, my intelligence no. to uh, Legend of Zelda. And people may go, "Well, you don't have a lot of that, Rob." So <laughs> shut up. I beat you to the joke. <laughs> You beat me to it. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. I knew that was coming. <laughs> uh, Blue, do you want to go? Or do you want me to? Uh, you go. Okay. Um, favorite childhood game? Honestly, it'd probably be Melee. Um, I would want to say something like Pokemon, like, like Crystal version. Mm-hmm. But 
the reason I like melee the most was because uh, that was me playing with my friends all the time, going over to his house, playing and that's melee. That's what games are about. Man. Yeah, bringing people together. Yeah. And so, yeah, going over every day, playing melee, having no idea what we were doing. Um, and just all the memories I have, just from that friendship, but also like the games and everything. Um, I just loved melee. Um, so, probably say that was my favorite childhood game. Uh, and then Crystal would probably be a close second. But again, the reason Melee wins over is just the social aspect. Yeah. And then, ours is a game I love that I other know, people I'm trying hated. To think, I'm trying to think of that right now. And I, I really can't. Like movies, there are a lot of ones I'm like, this is, yeah, all right. But games, if it's mediocre, I, I just don't. I can't get through it. It's yeah. way different. So, it's hard to say if I've played a game and been like, yeah, I guess maybe the Kingdom Hearts series. I think people don't like Those it. Those are trash. I, <laughs> I think just people kidding. just don't. I think people don't like Kingdom Hearts too because like it's a they don't get the story. They think it's like for kids and it's like childish and stuff like that. So maybe that. But then again, I think that's a, like a lot of people like it. But I don't know. So maybe that. Um. Well, this one's an easy one. I guess I'll just say Paladins right now. Everyone's like Ugh, Overwatch, Cloud, <laughs> even though. I because I, I made a video the other day. I was playing. I was like, I would rather play this every day for the rest of my life than Overwatch. Over once. Overwatch, yeah. Like, Bad. I have a lot of fun with that. But like, because if I think back to like older games I played as a child, we didn't know better. Plus, games weren't as prevalent, and there weren't as many. Because I can look back to, cause I don't even know what people thought. Like, Star Wars, uh, pod pod racing, whatever. Oh, that one is On, sweet. Like, PS2, yeah. yeah. Like I love that, but I don't know if that was bad. You know, yeah. I don't know if that was technically a, a considered a bad yeah. game. Any game from my childhood, it just like rose tinted glasses. So it's hard to say. Like, like Sky Fox Adventures on GameCube, that was dope. Oh, I don't uh, remember if people. You mean Star Fox? What did uh, I say? You said Sky Fox. Oh, uh, Star, yeah, Fox. Star Fox. I think that um, is actually considered a bad game. It is, but I, I like love it. That. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. So maybe that I actually think that is considered a bad game. And okay, like, must be because people were like, "This isn't Star Fox. Like, why is he running around?" Yeah. Like, well, I remember um, there was some part where you had to mash a button to get through this part, and my friend and I we couldn't mash fast enough. We had to get his boomer dad who came in here. We're like, "Can you do this?" And he's sitting there like, Argh. he was oh. like my hero that day. He beat it for us. Boku no hero. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "You've never been this cool, Mr. Garcia." Mr. Garcia, <laughs> what about you, Blue? Do you do you have your ideas now? Uh, childhood game, easy Pokemon Yellow. Not even close. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I didn't have friends, but I had Pokemon, so that was Pog. <laughs> but you had your starters. Oh, yeah, never mind. I guess Star Fox Adventure was pretty uh, well received. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Probably I've... back in the day, it wasn't well received with fans because I probably had the same response because I love Star Fox 64. And then I was like, yo, why is Fox on top of his shit, bro? <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, it's so funny you say that. Like the first reviews, the game didn't appeal to some Star Fox fans at the start. But looking back, the game mechanics are great. But it's like weird. Well, see, I don't know. So I don't know what game I like that people don't. Yeah. That's a lot harder. It's a, yeah, definitely a out there kind of question. Because I feel like a bad game usually means like it's just bad Trash. to play and it's a lot harder to be like like a movie a lot of it can be very depend, or, um, subjective but with a game the reason a game's usually bad is because like the mechanics are bad the gameplay is bad yeah. the story is bad the art's bad shadow the fucking hedgehog Oh, oh, that game is trash, bro. I really? know it is, but I love oh, that game. that game is trash. You're bro, right. Bro, when I was a kid, I loved Sonic games. I, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 and then Sonic Heroes was dope. And then we got Whoa. Shadow the Hedgehog. That was game that, is terrible, but I that love that game. That game yeah. is the room of video games. I think it was on Play. <laughs> I think it was, was it on PlayStation Two. Like it was I think on GameCube, it, and I think it was on Play. I think no, it was. I think it was just GameCube. Are you sure? I'm gonna look it up. I uh, think it's GameCube. Let's uh, see the scores of that. Shadow, Shadow Shadow always was my favorite Sonic character. Said, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog game. Let's see the reviews on Genuinely this Genuinely awful game, but it is <laughs> so good because it's so... I love that game. Yeah, it only looks like it was a GameCube exclusive. Yeah, see, I missed out on those because the only time I got to play GameCube games was at friend's house. Yeah, this got a 4.7 on IGN out of oh. 10, uh, a 51.1% on Metacritic, and a 4.8 Yeah, those guys know they're talking about. Hey, that's enough to impeach Shadow. <laughs> get him out of here. That's the majority. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Shadow. Get out of there. Ugh. Yeah, that's a bad game. Good. That's a good one, Blue. That's actually yeah. like a legit bad game that people did so not dope. like. I love that game. Really? 
Doesn't he have like a gun in it and stuff? Yeah, he's so edgy. That's the Nickelback <laughs> of video games. It is so fucking good. I mean, you're right. It oh, is wait a minute. Maybe I need to. Game. Great game, dude. Take a walk down memory lane. That sounds amazing. I'm trying to think of a bad game that I really liked, but I, I can't think of one. Overwatch? Hey, but that's come on. different. Overwatch is tight for a <laughs> little it? bit. Well, I mean, right now. But see, it's still like well received no matter what. Even if like right now it's bad to play. Like yeah, the game. God, it's bad, dude. I played it the other day for like my placements just to kind of get golden guns because I'm addicted. It's awful. It's so bad. It's just shield, 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 shield. Especially if you're DPS. Hate it. Okay. I'll. Well, I don't know if this was poorly received or just just wasn't received enough like it wasn't popular enough uh -huh. but i'll say monday night combat and super monday night combat monday super monday night combat i think so those dope. were well received they just didn't have yeah a i just don't think they yeah i just don't think anyone played them which sucked i still super monday night combat is the most time i put into one game in one week seven out of ten on steam so I mean, that's not, a C. I would not clarify that as a bad game. Whatever, though. dude. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. Like we don't play bad games. We only play the yeah, best. I only games. have exquisite taste. I guess Destiny Two. That's what the one hey, you want. The yeah. game that I kind of like that people hate. Right. That one. Yeah, I'm. I'm still trying to rack my brain. Yeah. I don't know. Well, uh, do you, okay. I have a question for you. Is there a <laughs> podcast out there that you love that people also love? So there's a seven star rated podcast. And it's uh -huh. the only one in the world. Really? Yeah. Okay, what's the name of it? GG Over Easy. Oh. And it was actually featured in the new League of Legends True Damage Giants music. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I saw someone was like, yo, they got a fan over there uh, at uh, Riot Studios. I was like, yeah, I was like GG Easy yeah. definitely. Yeah, I was like, that's totally not just a. There's a totally a reason why we picked the name GG Over Easy. Gaming terms. Guys. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they're like, Hey, take this name. We'll put you in this video in a couple of years. Like, do it. Well, unfortunately, we need to wrap up the podcast. Boo. Yeah, I'm sorry. I always have to be the one that like pulls us back. Wow. Yeah, wow. I know. We got to end it. Hey, uh, Blue, uh, the, the the Stag Omega Saw, uh, Big <laughs> Sexy Arts, though, where can they find you on the internet? That's crazy. You guys can find me at Blue Westlow everywhere. Uh, you can find me at the Big Stag Sexy Omega <laughs> Arts, Seth. Thanks. That'll be Robbie V. Yep. And you can find me, just Google Mr. Fruit, or find me at a local movie theater <laughs> at my wrong showing. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so stupid. It's crazy you got spotted in the wild twice. Well, yeah. And then when I got done with the movie, I stood up. I was like, credits. And some girl, like, she like, like it was just stretching or something. And she goes, Mr. Fruit? I'm like, how? I was taken aback. I'm in the middle of a Frozen 2 movie. There's like, Eight people in this theater. It's opening. Oh, what? And she's like upside down looking at me from like the ground. I was like, what kind of an angle? I was like, how do you recognize me? I was like, suck. She's like, this is how, that's where my monitor is. When I'm on. <laughs> that's when how, I, that's how I watch you. Well, thank you guys for watching this video and this episode 16 of the podcast. Yes. Be sure to stay tuned for next Sunday. Oh, wait. We should announce this really quick. Oh. I think we're going to we're going to try and make next episode the alien episode. Yes. Yeah. So, we have homework and if you guys want to know what we're talking about too, I highly suggest. We'll also maybe put this in the intro too so it's at the beginning. Oh, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just as a precursor as well. Bob Lazar and Joe Rogan listen to that podcast and then we will discuss the supernatural yes. next week. So, you don't have to watch it but You'll probably understand more if you do. Otherwise, we'll do our best to kind of summarize it. But there's your homework. Um, so now they hate Gigi over easy. No, he gave me homework. No. Eugene's like, fuck yeah, dude. This is the time I've been waiting for. Love homework. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Talk to you next Sunday. See you.